Hello, today I'm gonna talk about debit card and credit card and checking account. And debit card and a credit card, they both look the same. And I'll show you an example. Oh, they're both plastic cards, fits in a wallet. It has the owner's name and the account number in front of the card. The bag has a magnetic strip, and I'm gonna show you one. So this is the front of the card. The bag has a magnetic strip and a phone number and a phone number to call in case the car gets stolen. Okay, so for the debit card, the owner deposits money into the account and the bank gives you this plastic debit card to use to make purchases or to withdraw money or use it for services. For a credit card, which it looks similar, is for the credit card, it is money that you borrowing from the bank. So it's not your money. Those are the main differences. So they may look the same. They, with the debit is your own money. With the credit card, you borrowing money from the bank. Both cards look very similar and uh, they both have the name and the account number. With the credit card, you're borrowing money from a credit card company. It's not your money. So that being said, it means that you have to pay it back. For the debit card, uh, you probably pay a fee, a monthly fee, like a maintenance fee, okay? It all depends on your balance. Um, there are certain uh, banks that they don't require a minimum balance and they don't charge any fees. There's some that requires uh, maybe 200, 500 in the bank account so that you don't have to pay that maintenance fee. For the credit card, they charge, there's a possible yearly fee for a credit card. Car owner may pay interest if the balance is not paid off by the due date every month. Then a late fee may be applied if uh, it's not paid on time every month. So it's late fees, interest with the credit card because you're borrowing money and you're committed to make the payments every month to pay it back. And if you don't make that minimum payment, then you have to pay interest and you have to pay late fee if you don't make the payment on time. For a debit card, you cannot spend more than what you have in the bank account, right? So for example, if I have $200 in the bank account, and I wanna buy coffee and I wanna buy groceries, then I cannot spend more than 200. That's all I have. That will be your limit, the 200 that you have in bank. For credit cards, the credit institution gives you a credit limit depending on how much you qualify. You may qualify for $500, so that will be, they set the limit for you based on your credit. For both of them, you have to keep track of how much you're spending and you have to look at your statements you know, keep checking on your balance you want to keep your receipt verify your purchase then someone asked me in Schoology Miss Palomino what is what do you prefer what do you have do you have any debit card do you have any credit card um, I do have a debit card I don't have any credit cards I'm not a credit card person not like credit cards at all uh, stay away from them uh, because I know that if I miss a payment then I have to pay double or triple and I don't like that so I'd rather just pay cash or use my uh, debit card for purchases and services so what exactly is a checking account okay so you go to the bank you open a checking account I mean anybody can open a, a, a checking account if you're underage, your parents have to go with you and sign some documents. If you're 18, you can go, or older, you can go by yourself. And a checking account is just basically an account that you use to deposit and make withdrawals. So put money in, that's a deposit. Take money out will be the withdrawal. If you spend money, that's a withdrawal. If you save money and you put money in your account, 
that's a deposit what about cash I feel like cash activates your brain it's emotional it's more uh, it makes you aware of your spending when you use cash instead of your debit and you spend less when you use cash than with the plastic card it has the tendency of spending more uh, some questions from Schoology let me look at my phone um, I'd like to answer some questions um, from students well, um, have a student here that said, debit gives you cash automatically. And my question is to do credit cards and debits and debit are the same. Well, I just explained debit and credit is not the same. Okay. They're both plastic cards, uh, look very, look the same, look similar, but they're not the difference. The main difference will be debit is your own money credit. You borrowing money. Can you still use a debit card broken? So the question is, so I have one right here. So <laughs> I have one right here. So if, if this was real, this is not, but if this was a real card and it's broken, um, you can use it now with technology. You can use it to make purchases online. Obviously you cannot swipe it now. Um, if this was real you using your phone and the app you have the number the car number that you can use to make purchases even in stores if they enter the car number they will be able to use your car without swiping the car the only thing that you can do with this broken car will be you can swipe it okay to make the, the purchases other question um, are you allowed to use debit cards out of the country? The, the, the answer is yes, your debit card. All you have to do is either go in person, you can do it from your phone. If you, have, uh, if you download the app of your uh, financial institution uh, and just let them know the dates and where you're traveling and, um, and you, will, you will be able to use your same, the same debit card. So the answer is yes. Someone asked, do you have to use a debit card? The answer is no. It is convenient of having um, the cash with you. It's just easier to have a debit card. So the debit card makes it more convenient. You don't have to use a debit card. You can just don't open a, an account and just use cash for everything. But now in 2020 um you know it's just way easier for certain purchases or services to use a debit card if you're at home and then you want to buy i don't know tickets or something you don't have to go in person you can just buy them online and you have to use a debit card instead of cash how are you gonna handle the cash Another question, why do people use debit card when they can use credit cards? Um, me personally, um, I use debit card because I like to use my money. I don't like to use anybody else's money. So I don't like borrowing money. Um, so that's what a credit card is. You're basically borrowing money, but then you have to pay it back. What's the point? It's better just to use your own money and if you don't have it Save it if you want to buy something Instead of just borrowing and then you have to save to pay it back. So That's my Personally my preference is just to use debit card. All right. No more questions now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna ask my students some questions so, so the first question you're gonna tell me debit or credit okay what will you use and i'm gonna give you scenarios ready set money is withdrawn from a checking or saving account <music> debit card you have a checking you can have a saving account with a debit card this is your own money 
okay? Consumers can, have, can buy items now and pay for them later. Is it a debit or credit card? Credit card. Eric purchased a movie ticket with his card. This money will come straight out of his checking account. What card did he use? Debit card. Rosa did not have enough money to fill her gas tank. So she used the card that will allow her to pay later. What card did she use? Credit card, you're right. Credit card. All right, now deposit or withdraw? Debbie paid rent by writing a $400 check to her landlord. Withdraw. Money taken out of her account. Next question. Money is automatically transferred to Debbie's account for her earnings from her job. Withdraw or deposit? Deposit. You work, you make money, and it's automatically transferred to the checking account. For Debit went to PetSmart to buy dog treats and a new collar. She paid with a debit card. Deposit or withdraw? <laughs> yes, withdraw. Debbie received two checks for her birthday. She went to the back. Fill out a slip and gave the checks to the bank teller. Deposit or withdraw? Deposit. You're gonna tell me if this is something good or bad. Good or bad, okay? Ready, set, go. Mia has made four late payments on her credit card. Is that good or bad? Bad late payments on her credit card that means she's gonna have to pay interest and late fees so on top of the money that she borrowed okay so that's bad joaquin maintains a low balance on his credit card is that good or bad remember so i think that's good good for joaquin yay mia owns money on five loans five loans oh my god you're borrowing money from five different banks that's not good that has to be bad joaquin pays his bills on time is that good or bad paying on time it is good right you want to pay on time not late because then what happens late fees mm very good let me know if you have more questions about debit credit checking account deposit withdrawals any of that okay thanks for watching see you next time bye next week we're gonna talk about next week i'm gonna talk about jobs education salaries Ooh, fun stuff, okay? I just said that finance is one of my favorite topics, okay? I love talking about finance and money and all of these different things. Investments and, um, um, and that. Okay, well, enjoy the rest of the week. Don't forget, look at everyday lessons and answer the questions and discussions, okay? I don't have credit cards, so last time I had a couple, I did, I just closed the account and I... the two hundred dollars